Um, Heather, as incoming president, uh, I hope this is the only time that a GRRA president will have a virtual meeting. Yeah. Now, there's a reason that the folks, the membership, have selected you as our president. And that's because you have character, both personally and you have extreme capabilities professionally. So they have selected you out of the other folks uh, in our membership, and there's a reason for it. And they do trust you and are confident in you that you will look after their best interests. As a member, I personally thank you for being a leader of our group. Thank you. Heather, it seems like just yesterday that I was in my office and you came in to tell me that you were thinking about running for board of directors and kind of nervous about the whole thing. And it's been great, with great pleasure that I've watched you just blossom into a wonderful, confident leader that we will continue to see in the coming years. One of the things I think is so critical to us this year in particular is knowing that you genuinely care about the members and that you will listen to the things that they have to say and, and lead by example and showing that care, concern, and compassion that really shines through. And I know I've seen it with, with you many times and I'm looking forward to watching you uh, lead us this year. Of course, it takes a village and you've got a great village in the, the staff at our board. It's the best in the state uh, without question. So lead on. Heather, congratulations. Um, you don't really need any advice from me per se. You're gonna do a great job. It's obviously a extraordinary time that we're dealing with and I assume it's gonna be that way going into 2021. But, um, but you'll do a great job and, and get through it all. And hopefully we'll all be back face to face here sooner than later. Um, Sharon mentioned, but don't trust the, the staff at GRA. They're great and they'll, they'll keep you in the road. And, and also just remember that no matter what you do, you're gonna probably always have somebody that disagrees with you, but uh, just take it in stride and uh, you're gonna do a great job. Congrats. Heather, first of all, I just want to thank you for your willingness to run uh, for this position. Uh, obviously, as others have mentioned, you were selected for, for a reason. Um, and secondly, just congratulations on being elected by the membership for our next president. Uh, if, uh, if you're half as good at uh, running this organization as you are as having a cross sale with that uh, we just completed uh, this month, uh, then uh, we're, we're all going to be in really good hands. Um, I'm sure everyone is is ready to get 2020 behind them and to start a new year. And uh, we're really excited to have you at the helm to uh, to lead us this year. Uh, you're gonna do great. Uh, as the others have mentioned, um, we have the best staff anywhere and um, lean on them. They will help you and assist you. And uh, if I can ever help with anything, uh, hopefully you still have my number from this recent sale. Please don't hesitate to call. Good luck. I will tell Heather what Alec told me in 2001, in case he hasn't already said it. This is not the end, it's the beginning. Uh, you're going to have to buckle your skates. It's going to be a great ride, and we can't wait to see where you take us. Heather, it is absolutely a privilege to sit and, and address you. I wish we were doing it in person, but I just want to tell you what a phenomenal evolution I have seen in you over the last handful of years. Uh, and I've had the advantage of seeing it both as your broker in charge and also in your leadership capacity at GRA. And I, as my predecessors have said, uh, you're in that position for a, a reason and it's self-evident, I think, to everyone. The evolution has been not only as uh, becoming a, a top-notch, high-caliber agent, but also a top-notch, high-caliber leader. And uh, you got the endorsement and the support of uh, a bunch of has-beens that are talking to you right now. But also, 
you know, the, the, the nicest thing is that your peers put you in this position because they all had absolute confidence that you will be the ultimate leader for us this coming year. So I'm 50 feet down the hall. If I can ever assist you, please do. But I don't think you're going to need it. You're full of grace and talent, and I think you'll do a wonderful job. Congratulations and best of luck. Heather, I'm passing the gavel, and doggone it, it's a big one. Uh, <laughs> You know, you're now joining an elite class in Breach Rarefied Air as president of the Greensboro Regional Realtor Association. Embrace this leadership opportunity. Enjoy it. But protect the position as you don't own it, but instead are a mere caretaker of this position for a brief period of time. Don't lose sight of the members because that's why we do what we do. You're going to be terrific. Congratulations. And um, can't wait to see the fantastic work you're going to be doing. As someone who's been president of two associations, I can assure you that members do not want you to fail. Please always remember that you serve at the will of the members. Lots of success. Heather, yes, um, I think you know how special you are to me, how much I've really gotten to know you and enjoyed getting to know you as you've been with our company almost since day one. And then especially as I saw you step into leadership with the association, it's just been, it's been great for me to watch you. Um, June said, you know, like a sister. And I said, well, unfortunately, more like a daughter. But, you know, um, <laughs> I've, I'm just so, so proud of you. And next year, I hope that you will call on me to help with something. And I wish you the very best. Heather, uh, you and I spoke early on in your career of um, uh, starting in the leadership role on board of directors and, and moving up from there. And um, I'm very, very excited that uh, GRRA will be in your hands for 2021. Um, I know that uh, in 2020, you did a great job as president-elect working with Ray during a very, very challenging time. Um, my presidency was the beginning of the Great Recession. Uh, at the end of it and working in as president-elect or president, past president in 2008. So um, we need good leaders when we have troubling times, and I, I trust you will be a fantastic leader. Um, as everyone has said, Mike Barr and his staff are A+, plus, um, and your past presidents are there for whatever you need. Feel free to reach out to us, and good success to you. Congratulations. Um, our paths crossed a long time ago before you uh, became a realtor in GRA, but um, I always have respected you and appreciate your abilities. And there are so many qualities that you all already possess, but I give you just this little bit of advice. Uh, and this is sort of a quotation that I pretty much live by. It says, stop trying to calm the storm calm yourself. The storm will pass. And this is so true in so many walks of life. Uh, but it's a great little tidbit to remember when dealing with members, because sometimes they can be very emotional, erratic, and you need to be the common force. And Mike's always good there to support you in that. Um, and it goes without saying, everybody says it, but we have the greatest staff, and that's been proven year after year. So we just have to help them a little and provide leadership to our membership. Thank you so much for taking this responsibility. I appreciate the time and energy you will spend here on our behalf. Good luck. Heather, as you can see, all the past presidents standing before you on your journey are here to help you in any way possible. Enjoy every day as we have seen in 2020, expect the unexpected and enjoy each adventure as it comes along. Hey Heather, we had a conversation a little bit earlier this year about leading through adversity in years that no one else experiences. And we share a sorority, we are in a sisterhood together that we were president elect and we will be presidents during two time periods that no one else has ever experienced. Um, a recession that is second only to the Great Depression and a pandemic. You're going to be be fine. You've got this. Nothing worse can happen. You're going to be just great. Oh, Lord. We are here for you. Call me anytime. I'll be nice. 
<laughs> Call me anytime. <clears throat> We're all here for you. We may not have the best advice, but we'll do the best we can. And you're going to be an awesome leader. Go for it. So Heather, um, you're going to have a really wonderful year. And I'm hoping um, that you'll, you'll find that the staff is your best friend. Um, you got to trust Mike. He's going to tell you things that won't make a lot of sense right <laughs> at first, but um, it, he doesn't whisper in people's ears anymore because with COVID, that's just not happening. <laughs> but um, you'll probably get um, text messages or, or chats or something like that. So um, that's just my little heads up. He will guide you and you got to trust him and the rest of the staff because they're all there to give you all the information you need to to move forward so i hope that during this crazy year and the whatever's to come you enjoy and you smile at the zoom a whole lot <laughs> congratulations heather congratulations uh wishing you the best of luck i remember a conversation i had with you about um running for treasurer elect and your quote to me was i'm not going to run for president and i said you don't have to um <laughs> but guess what you did and and you won and congratulations and you are a great leader and i also go back to something that you've said multiple times about your real estate career it's it's not something you do it's not um, a part-time thing it's your profession and you really do show that and carry that. And I think you will represent all of us really well as the next president of GRRA. Congratulations. Hey, Heather, boy, do we have a history because I was hanging out with your mom before you were ever born. Boy, will that make somebody feel old. <laughs> Anyway, you are venturing bravely into unknown territory the year after 2020. No one knows what to expect anymore after the year we just had, but one thing is very clear. We are stronger, we are wiser. I think we're more bonded together in the realtor community and more aware and grateful of the wonderful gift we have that is our career. Um, the bright prospect of continued continuing with our arms locked attitude to be able to work together happily and be kind around others. I, I know you have perpetuated that throughout this past year. Heather, you are wise beyond your years, but you also hold the vision and exuberance of youth. Those two things um, and attributes combined will make you a wonderful president and I expect great things from you in 2021. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Hi, Heather. Um, you are not the only one to say I'll run for treasurer, but not for president. It is um, just something that um, it's a great honor and we're so happy to have you. You are taking GRRA into its 101st year of existence and you're the first president to be installed virtually. It is hopefully the last, but I am very confident that you are the right person for this crazy time that we find ourselves in. And I have a quote for you, a famous quote. If your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more, you are a leader. And Heather, just keep doing what you're doing. You've already shown us that, um, shown us great leadership and you're going to lead us out of this craziness. We are here to support you. Have a wonderful year. Hey, Heather. I wish we were standing in the front of the ballroom passing this gavel for real, but we're doing it this way. And so just know there's still just as much heart and soul. We love you. I've watched you grow. I've watched how much you love real estate and you love our members. So you just have a beautiful heart and soul and that shines through in everything you do. Um, you have got a lot of positive ideas and great things that I know you'll pass around. Um, and stay with Mike. Um, he, he will lead you in the right direction. 
I will say though, don't wear high heels if you're trying to walk with him. He might leave you. <laughs> so I hope you guys get to go to some of these conventions and and so you'll learn more and and get to hang out and experience the real president. Um, but I just wish you nothing but the best. I know you will do a fantastic job. We are all here when you need us. And I'll just leave you with one little thing. People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did. But people will never forget how you make them feel. And I know you're going to embrace this and, and you'll love it. But thank you very much. Look forward to it. <laughs> this year's flown by. Even, even when it was darker than dark. Mm -hmm. So I just wanted to say a couple things that uh, I know I'm crazy and I jump out of planes so I can go fast and fly, but you're gonna bring us back to going up and bring this group back up because uh, I hope I'm the only, only one who's gonna be president in a pandemic. So hopefully you will be the one out of the pandemic as soon as possible so we can be together and stand together and as you know that we love you i've been with you for years now with kathy and myself on these boards so with that i want to say as i was saying as it all started right here we thought this parking space would be so important but as life throws us a curveball, not a chance. What's important is in our hearts and being a realtor. So think about that in this upcoming year when Heather takes us out of COVID and into her year. Thanks, Ray. Super excited for 2021 and what it will bring.